Uh, we first thought of the uh, wetter concept when we really wanted a boat that was uh, had multi-purpose use for a family, uh, one that could be used as a uh, for you know grandpa and his kids, or for uh, young people to sail, or for um, just a family, uh, mother and dad and two kids. And so we came up with this concept of a a multi-hull with good load carrying capacity, uh, something that was very simple to. Uh, rig. Uh, you don't want to spend time putting masts up and down and uh, it also dismantles uh, so it can fit into a um, small common Kiwi garden trailer so it's a, it, it collapses into a very small um, uh, unit. And the simplicity was a key uh, factor so um, it is very very, uh, there's no boom so it's very easy to um, uh, tell people how to rig it, everything's colour coded and uh, the mast is carbon although it has, um, it, it is exotic and there are costs but it's a very light which means anyone can rig the boat and it's very very um, easy to do that, it's all lightweight, you don't have to um, be strong to lift it. Um, so those were the same, and it also had to be uh, comfortable. You don't want to be stuck sitting on a trampoline with your knees under your uh, chin. Uh, you were able to put your legs in the cockpit and sit normally. Uh, you can sail it like that, or you can go right out on the edge and uh, hang out over the side. You can really sail it how you want to. But it's very, very stable. You've got to work very hard to um, uh, capsize it. And the fact that it's got no boom, it's very non-threatening. Uh, people can make terrible mistakes and still not even know they've done them. Um, and no boom also means that it's uh, quick, quick to rig. You can rig the boat probably in about 15 minutes, which is quite surprisingly quick, really, for such a. Uh, it looks like a complex boat, but it's not. It's very simple. And so far, the people who've um, the owners who've got them have actually been sort of older people who have used them for this purpose for uh, family and uh, they've uh, been doing this for uh, probably uh, two years, that's probably the longest owned, about two years and uh, we've had such different combinations of uh, grandparents, grandchildren, uh, uh, and just what we would ha had created it for that that has been um, that has been working. We also think they'd be very suitable for sailing schools as well, um, where you can load people on them and actually sit sit and teach them how to sail, uh, not worrying about capsizing or being injured or anything. It's such a stable platform. So sailing schools. Um, uh, find they're also um, you know, very practical and useful. So it, after um, seeing different people going out and sailing them, uh, I, I think we've, we're very happy because it seems to have um, you know, fit the bill. We've had people going out who really hadn't done much sailing and I don't have to instruct them on how to rig it. They, they just seem to, with simplicity, they just get up and they do it.
I've just been out for a sail in the weather. Um, great experience. Um, I normally sail a laser, and uh, so the, the weather's a bit of a step up in speed. Um, we had reasonably light winds today, um, but the uh, the weather was going really fast, especially with the scooter up, and uh, the boat boat tacks really well. Um, Probably because it doesn't sit on both um, on all the hulls at once. It can sit on the central hull, so it's got good manoeuvrability. Um, it's also, it's really stable and a great learn to sail boat. Um, but also a lot of fun for you know more experienced sailor. And uh, yeah, nice and simple. My name's Katie, um, I've actually been out sailing first day today ever and this is my first time on this thing as well and I had a really good time. I felt really steady and really safe on it so I think that's a really good thing, it's great. Cheers. My name's Sarah and I've been out sailing for the first time today in the weather and I thought it was wicked. Heaps more fun than my laser, it goes a lot faster.